Now, before you all crucify me with the nails of Need for Speed to the Tree of Underground, hear me out. Most Wanted 2012 is not a true Need for Speed game. It doesn't go to the roots of the series like I said in the past, like a dumbass. It is basically a burnout game that EA decided to make into a Need for Speed game because money. Now, it is basically a cash grab by EA, but damn is this game fun. Now, the video is probably going to lead to my banishment from the Need for Speed community on YouTube, but damn. Now, I can understand why people hate it. I mean, it has absolutely zero nouch, zero X, nothing, absolutely no reference to the original Most Wanted, besides having a list of the 10 Most Wanted racers. That, and cops. That's basically it. But hey, the game was made by Criterion, the pieces of shit douchebags, dirtbags, that brought us rivals, Burnout Revenge, Burnout Paradise, and the Renderware engine used in Grand Theft Auto 3 through Vice City Stories. Hey, I don't hate Criterion. You could obviously see the sarcasm in that. Although, Rivals is pretty shoddy. But, um, wasn't fully their fault. I have a different... <laughs> I don't hate Criterion. I think they saved me for speed from destruction back in 2010, so yeah. But I have a totally different video explaining why Criterion isn't a piece of shit developer and is who is really to blame for Rivals' demise. But, I digress. Why do I think this game is good? Well, for one thing, I like the driving mechanics. Jesus Christ. It feels fluent with a great sense of speed in the city of Fairhaven. Fairhaven. Fairhaven is built around the driving physics and the physics don't feel out of place like Grand Theft Auto 4. Which is a great game, don't get me wrong. The game has lots of cars, not as many as Hot Pursuit 2010, but a lot more than Rivals. What can I say? Either you love Most Wanted 2012 or hate it so much you want to murder everyone who made it. Personally, I find it really fun and enjoyable. Now, this game isn't perfect. For one, it's way too easy and way too short. I beat it in four hours. And by beating it, I mean to the point where I beat the Most Wanted Racer. But I got like so much enjoyment after, like four months worth. But I digress again. This game isn't for anyone. For one thing, it's way too easy. Even the races classified as hard are pretty easy. So, it is basically a game for a casual audience. Like one review said, it's a racing game for people who aren't generally racing game fans. But they should have implemented harder elements to even please the hardcore fans of the series. Like me and other people. Now. What else? Hmm. Oh yeah, the online mode is horrid. <laughs> just, just don't go on it. All it is is just a bunch of scrubs driving in Bugatti Veyrons and ramming you at every possible circuit. It's caused me almost more rage than Call of Duty has in like years of playing Call of Duty. I mean, I tried it like three times, and jeez. Jeez, I was, I was basically scarred for life. Like, an example is, you're at the start line, like, you get the formula on start lines, which is pretty cool. But, that also gives players the opportunity to ram you as soon as the race starts and make you crash before the race is even... Oh, my God. Causing you to have a really slow advantage during the t race. But, jeez. And, it's always the people in the Bugatti Veyrons. Once I got my conga seg in online, I was set for life. As long as it didn't crash. <laughs> the game also has a really great sense of speed. What well, can I can't tell you? I mean, geez, driving down a two narrow two lane road as in a Bugatti Veyron or Hennessy Venom or a conga seg. By the way, this car's a, this game has a lot of um, exotic cars, which I like, and it has some Japanese cars. There's a skyline, but that's DLC. But anyway, I digress. Again. The sense of speed is amazing. I mean, it's probably one of the best. Even Pro Street. It beats Pro Street's kinda. But, um, spe especially when you're heading down a narrow two-lane road. The motion blur is perfect. The sense of speed, beautiful. And one wrong move. One wrong move can send you flying off the road and explode. Well, you don't really explode. You just crash. But, um... 
but you're, you you can easily catch up, and that kind of brings it down because it should feel like a high stakes race where you're like neck and neck with your opponent. In one wrong move, can send you, can kill you, can end your racing career. Okay, not that, but can end the race, and you have to restart the race. That is pretty good what I want in a racing game anyway guys those are my thoughts on Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 I, I gotta get out of here before my assassins break down my door and what was that That's what I do